A factory manager takes 20 minutes to travel from his home to the site in the mornings. He needs 15 minutes to unlock the facilities and 30 minutes to check the machines before the factory is operational. What is the latest time he can leave his home for operations to start at 8 a.m.? So in order for us to do this, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all of these times. So let's add them. So we're gonna add the 20 minutes it takes him to travel from his home to the site. We're gonna add the 15 minutes that, it that, he, that he needs to unlock the facilities. And we're gonna add the 30 minutes that he needs to check the machines before the factory is operational. And so 20 plus 15 plus 30 is gonna be 65 minutes. And we're gonna express that in terms of hours and minutes because 60, 60 minutes, right? 60 minutes is an hour. And so if we have 65 minutes, that's gonna be one hour and five minutes. And so altogether, it takes them one hour and five minutes. And so what we have to do is we're gonna take, we got, we're gonna subtract. So we're gonna subtract one hour and five minutes with, so we're gonna take eight, eight, eight o'clock, right? Which is eight hours and zero minutes. And we're gonna subtract that with one hour and five minutes, all right? And so let's do, let's perform the subtraction. Zero minutes, so zero minus five, we can't do that, right? Zero minus five, we can't do it. So we have to go over and see if we could borrow from the zero, but we cannot borrow from the zero because it's just zero. And so we have to move over to the hour side and see if we can borrow and sure enough, we can. So we, we should, we're gonna borrow one hour, one hour, cause we're on the hour side now. We're gonna borrow one hour from eight, and so when we take away one, one from eight, that gives us seven. Remember, this is an hour, this is an hour. So when we borrow an hour and we bring it over to the minute side, it's no longer one hour, it's actually 60 minutes. So we don't write it as a one hour, we write it as 60 minutes because we are on the minute side and one hour is 60 minutes. And so we have 60 plus zero. And so we're gonna express this as follows. So we have hours and minutes, now we have seven hours because we took away one hour from eight and so that's seven hours. And we have 60 minutes because there's a 60 plus zero. And so this is 60 minutes because we borrowed a whole hour, right? And so we have seven hours and 60 minutes and we have five minutes here and we have one hour here. And so we still have to subtract. What is zero minus five? We can't do it. So we have to borrow from the six, this becomes five and then this becomes 10. So we put the one on top, that becomes 10. So we say 10 minus five and 10 minus five is five. And then five minus zero is definitely five. Then we say seven minus one and seven minus one is six. And so that means that the, that the latest time he can leave home for the op for operations to start at eight, at 8 a.m. is 6.55 a.m. The next question states that a worker's shift begins at 8.30 and ends at 4 p.m. How long was his shift? So how long was his shift? And so in order to figure out how long is the shift, what we're gonna do is we are going to subtract. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take 8.30 a.m. and we're gonna express that, I'm sorry, we're gonna take 4 p.m. We're gonna take 4 p.m. and we're gonna express that in, we're gonna express that using the 24 hour clock, all right? So 4 p.m. in 12 hour clock, so we have 4 p.m. right there. And so 4 p.m. is actually 16 o'clock in, in the 24 hour clock. So instead of writing 4 p.m., we're gonna use 16 o'clock for the 24 hour clock, all right? This would help us when we're subtracting. And so we're gonna take the, the end time, which is 4 p.m. or 16 o'clock, and we're gonna put that on top. And so we have 16 hours and zero minutes, which is four o'clock, but in terms of the 24 o'clock is 16 o'clock, which, which we want. And we're gonna subtract that with um, the starting time. So it's gonna be 8.30. So that's eight hours and 30 minutes. And let's perform the subtraction, right? Zero minus zero is zero, but zero minus three, well, we can't do that. So we have to borrow. We have to go to the hour side and borrow. So we're gonna take away one from one hour from 16, which leaves us with 15 hours. And when we borrow, remember we're borrowing a whole hour from the hour side. And so when we borrow a whole hour, that means when we, comes over, when we come over to the minute side, it's actually gonna be 60 minutes because one hour is 60 minutes. 
And so now we have this question expressed. Now we have our working expressed as follows. It's going to be 15 hours and it's going to be 60 minutes. How we get 60 minutes? Because 60 plus zero. And so it's going to be 60 minutes on the minute side. We still have 30 minutes at the bottom and we still have eight hours at the bottom. And so we're going to subtract. And so what we have here is zero minus zero, which is zero, six minus three, which is three. And then we have five minus eight. We can't do that. So we have to borrow from the one that becomes zero. And then this becomes 15 minus eight and 15 minus eight is definitely seven. And so it's going to be seven hours and 30 minutes. And so that means that is shift. So how long was the shift? Well, the shift was seven hours and 30 minutes. The next question states that the worker takes a lunch break at 13.45. What time is this on a 12 hour clock? And so we have 13.45 that is expressed in 24 hour clock. What time is that on? What time is, it, is this on a 12 hour clock? Well, on a 12 hour clock, 13 o'clock, right? So 12, so we have the 24 hour clock. We have the 12 hour clock. Now, 13 o'clock, right, is actually 1 p.m. on the 12 hour clock. So 13 o'clock is actually 1 p.m. on the 12 hour clock. So that means that if he took his lunch break at 13.45, express on the 12 hour clock, that time is 1.45 p.m. And that's the answer to this question.